Which disease is the weirdest of all? In this video, we will talk about narcolepsy. Narcolepsy is when you sleep all the time. On the 28th of March 1871, 11-year-old Ellen Sadler went to bed and did not wake up for nine years. This is Ellen before she fell asleep. Ellen was born on the 15th of May 1859, the youngest of 12 children. Their father had been William Sadler, a farmhand, but he died. Their mother Anne afterwards married Thomas Fruin, also a labourer. The family lived in the village of Turville, Buckinghamshire, United Kingdom. Their house, on the corner of School and Holloway Lanes, and nicknamed Sleepy Cottage, suggests a respectable family that had fallen on hard times. Ellen was always a bit limp and dreamy. One day, at 11 years of age, she was sent to the town of Marlow be a nursemaid for two very young children. The activity and the noise and running round early and late were so shocking that she dropped asleep on the job, all the time, so she was fired. Back home, she complained of a terrible headache. She spent four months in hospital but no one could tell what was wrong. Two days after being driven home in a rickety cart, she had several fits, and collapsed into a sleep from which nothing, but nothing, woke her. In her lethargy she brought in more money than awake, for people came from far and wide to observe her and donate to the family. A journalist reported, her breathing was regular and natural, the skin soft and the body warm, as in a healthy subject, the pulse rather fast. The hands were small and thin, but the fingers quite flexible, the body somewhat emaciated, the feet and legs like those of a dead child, almost ice cold. Her features were pleasant, her eyes and cheeks sunken, but although there was no color on her cheeks, the paleness did not betoken death. She just stayed like that. She had two missing teeth, so milk, port wine, and gruel were poured into her mouth, which was clamped shut. She had no bowel movements for five years, but every four days a large amount would pass from her bladder. To begin with, it was not a hoax. However, probably at age 16 or thereabouts, she started to wake when no one but the family was watching, and probably ate some real food, because people claimed they saw her sitting at her window at night. In May 1880, round the time of Ellen's 21st birthday, her mother came home agitated from the fields and died of heart failure. Things began moving rapidly. Ellen was put into the care of her sister, Elizabeth Stacy, who was married to a bricklayer, and in October 1880 woke up. She was stunted in growth, had a weak eye, spoke and acted like a child, and professed to remember nothing of the past nine years. Later, she went to live with her aunt, Grace Blackall, earning her keep with beadwork. In 1886, when she looked like this, she married a relative, Mark Blackall. They had six children between 1888 and 1898, and are listed in the 1911 census. So, what is the diagnosis? Narcolepsy is a neurological sleep disorder. It can begin at puberty and cause minutes-long lack of muscle control. In a cataplectic attack, speech and movement become impossible. It appears that, after an initial cataplectic attack, Ellen Sadler succumbed to from severe narcolepsy for a number of years. Eventually she must have woken up, but since her mother was receiving pound two pounds a week in charity, that is 100 pounds today, and since Ellen felt weak anyhow, there would have been no incentive to make an effort and face the real world.